lords are under constant threat from the invaders. This sweet crop stem is being attacked by a parasite. The parasite is called rust, although it is actually a type of fungus. The invading rust fungus has penetrated deep inside the plant tissues. As the invasion progresses, the fungus produces spores. The spores erupt from the surface of the plants. The spore spread creating pustules, new sites of infection. Soon the stem and leaf are covered in fungal growth. Carried by the wind, the fungal spores can travel great distances, eventually reaching other potential hosts. The spore must now find the nutrients it requires to grow sending out the germ tube. It seeks an entry point into the plant. A newly formed penetration tube breaks inside the stem and fungus extends further into the plant. Once inside the stem, another structure called haustoria used to penetrate plant cell. The fungus can now take nutrients from the plant. It also secretes small proteins called effectors. This is critical time for plant. If it can detect effector proteins, it can dry stop invasion. Plant has specialized resistant proteins which act like an immune system. The resistant protein binds to effector proteins. This binding and let the plant infection is taking place. Now the parasite is detected. The infected cells are sacrificed, cutting off the energy supply to the invaders. The fungus will eventually stop and plants continue to grow. New strains of fungi are constantly developing through evolution. This can make some plants vulnerable to infection. Disease like rust fungus have plucked crop production since people began crop farming. Globally, infection of rust destroys 15 million tons of wheat each year. Because of this, wheat breeder must vigorously seek new source of resistance to protect crops. Perhaps by investigating interaction between plants and their invaders, we could one day prevent devastation caused by rust fungus.